Menachem Shafran, TV product at XM Cyber. A very exciting company, does uh, a, a very unique, really uh, edge of the market. Uh, how would you call it? Simulation, attack simulation? Attack simulation. We're in the breach and attack simulation category. Okay. Uh, basically, we're offering automated purple team solution. So, uh, very I have to stop you there. What does purple mean? I understand blue team, I understand red team, I understand out uh, of the box. Great, good question. So, first, I'll tell you that one of the nice things that I came here, I had a lecture yesterday in the conference, and I asked, uh, I had a poll, and I asked them, how many of you have heard about the concept of purple teaming? And I think about almost 40% told me that they have. So that was amazing to see the education in the UK market that they're, they're understanding the new, the edge, the cutting edge of uh, cybersecurity. So basically, what is purple team? So basically, the idea here is that red teaming and blue teaming not working together is not good enough. And if you have a red team and they're creating a report, those are the problems that you have. And then you pass it to the blue team and the blue team, you know, scratches his head and trying to understand, oh, wh what am I doing with that? Not good. So we need them to work together. So the combination of red and blue together creates the purple. And this is exactly what XM Cyber basically does. We're doing an in an automated manner, we're doing purple team. So we're doing both the red team part, we're showing you how an adversary can actually get from a breach point towards your critical assets, towards the crown jewels. And then we're not stopping there, we're coming and helping the blue team understand first how to prioritize based on the findings because you're not going to fix everything in your network, so focus on what helps adversaries get to the crown jewels, that's where you want to concentrate on. Okay. And we're basically going to tell you how you can actually fix it. Working with you step by step and not just telling you, oh, those are the problems, go and figure out how do I actually go about fixing it. I really like that last bit because there are many technologies and services out there that come, that scan your network, whatever, and then you get a report, and I call this printer to shredder, because you can read it, then you try to decipher it, try to understand what's important, in the end, you throw it away and just go about doing your own thing. You say that you can take this information, take this insight, and, and make them actionable. And make them actionable. So the, the report is both actionable in terms that uh, it's not we're not telling you something generic we're telling you pinpoint stuff that are tailored to your environment so we tell you this user has too many permissions that uh, here you have a misconfiguration you have a port that you need to close perhaps you have a patch we're not only doing that we're also understanding that you have business uh, business requirements sometimes you cannot patch a system so we're telling you okay you can either patch or you can close the port. So we'll give you the different options so you can understand how to actually go about fixing it. Now, what you said about shredding the report, I believe that's very, very true in many cases, especially when you're doing a, a red team exercise. You do it usually every six months, once a year or so. Whenever you get the Whenever it requires. And then you get this huge report. This huge report, just going over it and trying to decipher it is a very lengthy and, and, and hard process. So the nice thing, and that's why we think you need to automate the entire process, is the fact that if you're doing it continuously, every day, it's, uh, you, you're keeping your IT hygiene in a, in a good profile. It's just like instead of going to the doctor once a year, asking, oh, fix me. You're living a healthy lifestyle. You make sure that every day you're making sure that you're healthy, you're making sure that you improve your security posture, and that way you can actually handle the, the information. You can, you're not overwhelmed with this huge report which you need to decipher. So, asking you something a little bit intimate, you don't have to answer. I'm guessing over time you've uh, accumulated a lot of information about your clients. I'm not talking about any customer in specific. What are like the generic, the big things that you see repeatedly that organizations fail to address and they should to make the best effort? So, so definitely, the biggest pain points are stuff that are related to high tea hygiene. It's not, it's not patching. Patching is important. But vulnerabilities, once adversaries are in your network, usually vulnerabilities and are, not, are not most of what they do. Not only that, I think people have improved, although there's still a lot of to, to, come, to go about with regards to vulnerability management, but the situation has improved. I see what people really fail to do in a good and proper manner is, is credentials. Domain, domain credentials that are people using domain admin to do stuff that they shouldn't do. So you have the domain admin in the cache of you know the marketing, uh, someone from marketing, and uh, and lots of issues that relate to managing the domain credentials, the entire hi IT hygiene aspects, much more than vulnerabilities. Okay. Uh, and to conclude, what would you say is your strongest? 
selling point to organization? Is it the automation, the augmentation of their existing teams? What, what would that be? So I would say the fact that we actually help them take them step by step and slowly, slowly improve their security posture. The idea here is not just a system to come and show you problems. It's not a system that's supposed to make a magical fix to a specific thing in your network. We're working with you side by side and helping you improve your security posture in a, in, in a holistic way. And that's the key thing. I think that's what the customers love the most about the product. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, XM Great. Thank you.